vedi queste le ho prese per strada qua vicino guardate che belle però chiaramente non ho mangiato ci vogliono molto di più per fare il video quindi vediamo cosa fa E chi è che non si ricorda un sciavichello? Abbiamo fatto per cambiare un sciavichello di olive. E poi vediamo cosa ne facciamo. Stay tuned for the next video of olive allo sciavichello. So the olives have been sitting in salted water. I always like to say, you know, how much salt. It should taste like, like the ocean, like the sea. Uh, but anyway, I change the water daily. I do this for a week. We are going to do this for a week. And, um, you know, after a week, I'm going to taste one of the olive and see if uh, it's getting a, it's losing that bitterness right off the tree type of thing. And then we go on with the, uh, some other recipes on how to prepare them and jar them. Here are our olives. This is the third day, as I say, uh, at least once or twice a day, you soak them in a saline. Basically, the water tastes like seawater, more or less. The purpose of that is to soften them up and, and draw all the bitterness out. If you look at the water, it gets kind of yellowish. You know, that's from the bitterness. Same thing like in my other video with the eggplant. This is always uh, salt draws out impurities and etc. So I'm gonna use a strainer. I have this nice dandy one here. We use for many things in professional kitchen, but any strainer will do, obviously. Just make sure it's capable enough to contain the whole thing. If you make it a larger amount, you might want to go in batches. This one goes perfect for that. I'm going to have cold water and uh, rinse them. Rinse them, all the bitterness out. At the beginning there were a lot of leaves, so I cleaned some out. But let this rest. When I clean the bowl, as you can see, even this is kind of yellowish. So, I'm going to refill the bowl with fresh water. That's, uh, that's about right. In this case, about two tablespoons of sea salt, natural sea salt. Here, that's what I'm using. So it's one and two. Then salt melt, adding your olives back in. This is my second time I do it today. I'll give it a little mix. A few that fell in the sink. And that's our job is done for today. I'll see you tomorrow with the same process. And um, I'll, we, as I said, we'll do this for at least a week. Then we will we'll test them for softness and taste. Like some of these are already much better than the other. Then we're going to process the end in a few different ways. This is not just one recipe, it's more than one. See you tomorrow.
Hello there. So here we go. We have been uh, changing the the saline, the water and salt uh, solution with our olives, and we did this for a week. I did a few extra days because I like them clear in taste. Hi, Muffin. And um, I let them. I drained them last time. I gave them a little rinse and discard all the dirty water. Uh, it gets pretty dark, you know. And uh, I let it drain in the colander for about 15 minutes. What I'm going to do now, remember, I'm going to do a small batch uh, instead of, you know, a large quantity. I'm going to make one jar of each. We're going to do it in three ways. I'm going to bake some with uh, certain herbs, ingredients. I'm going to put some in uh, salt water, also with the spices, and I'm going to jar some in olive oil. So let's see. Uh, let's start. Here we are. On the first batch, I'm going to take some of our olives. Divide it in thirds enough to make one jar, you know, a jar like that. I went to the garden, I got myself some uh, bay leaf, some nice peppers, just pick them, um, which is the end of the season, these are perfect. For these applications and the rest, you can hang it upside down in the kitchen for everyday use. So I'm going to take uh, a bay leaf. I'm going to take one pepper, but we're going to add some later. And we don't want to go too crazy. So first thing I do, I go a little bit of salt. Remember, they were sitting in water and salt, so, but I washed them up, so, so that. And I take some of the peppers, remember that the hot part is in the seeds, in the membrane inside. So I'm gonna put roughly half, and the other half I'll put it fresh after they're baked, because we're gonna bake this in the oven. We're gonna, Get some oregano. If you don't, if you don't have peppers in the garden, there's no problem using something like this. Uh, don't use Tabasco or anything like that. Dry oregano is totally fine. Although I do have that in the garden too, but we're going to use that in the jarring process. Let me go. It's enough for that. So this is what oregano looks like right off a plant. There is a several kinds. By the way, I'm gonna chop some garlic in there. So we did half a pepper, one small globe of garlic, a couple pinches of oregano, some good olive oil. Nice coating. Here we go. Mix them up. I got my oven pan. And I put them right there in the middle of it. We don't need to go over it. Once in a while you find some leaves from the, the, the olive tree, which is totally fine. It's good to have a single layer, so they all cook evenly. And these are going, these are going into the oven at um, 160, 160, that's roughly 50, 160, that's uh, 200 Fahrenheit, something like that. You can do your calculations, everybody's got a smartphone. 
So for 40 minutes, but check once in a while. This is not a big batch, so my cook quickly. And once in a while you give her a little stir, so they all get evenly, they're gonna get all wrinkly, and then we put them in a jar, and we'll have them for a few juice. There we go. On this next batch, I'll get some of my, all this. I'm gonna make this a little, larger batch because I like them. I really like them this way. I have some that were marinating in oil. So this will speed up the process. I'm gonna mix them up. And we go with that one. We have this batch. I'm gonna put bay leaf in here. I'm gonna going to put some fresh oregano in springs, just like that. Here and there. There we go. Hot pepper. Again, you can use the jarred stuff, it's fine. I like those. Actually, I'm going to do a little more. These, uh, these are great for an appetizer. When you're waiting for the meal, you do a cheese platter. You put some of these in front of your guests. Fantastic. Now I'm taking garlic and cutting them in a half to expose all the the, the the sap, the juice of the garlic, that's where all the oils, that's where all the taste is. I'm gonna get three of those. It's gonna be a little bigger jar. A little bit of, of dry oregano also. Just a little bit of salt, not much. And I'm gonna add Rest of this oil that I already had. Mix everything. And I'm gonna let it sit a little bit. Then I'll show you when we're gonna jar everything. We are timing the olives all in the oven, have been there for five minutes. So another half hour. Meantime, we're gonna prepare the last batch, which is going to be a little different. I need a clean bowl, so hold on to the bottom. On this third method, first I'm gonna prepare the water. I'm using bottled water because tap water is terrible here where I am now. So I'm judging the quantity to, to fill the cup, even if it's a little extra, it doesn't matter. We use it for cooking. So, but, Cup, cup and a half. There we go. Couple tablespoons of salt. I'm using Him Himalayan salt, sea salt, whatever you prefer. Um, one trick that the old Brahma used to have is how to know when there is enough salt in there. It's actually there is a simple trick. You you prepare your salty water. You put it in a jar and you put a clean egg in it. If the egg tends to float, then it's perfect. It's almost like a Mediterranean Sea consistency. So, we got this done. And we put it to the side. We get our jar. I think, um, yeah, I'm gonna use this jar. I get, I start by putting some of the olives in there. Then I drop some garlic, 
so bay leaf some more of the pepper and chino i'm gonna cut it this way so you have it in chunks and some or you're gonna fresh or you're gonna let the little branches go in there just like that i top it off with the rest of the olives repeat garlic oregano more pepperoncino and also they have a nice coloring now because they've been marinating in the water for a few days uh, one trick to keep the color is to put some wedges of lemon and also gives the fresh oregano and the lemon gives a little twist you know so they all then they don't all gonna taste the same so you're gonna give it a little a little of something I think I'm gonna mix some in there put in another piece of lemon Look, there we go I'm going to mix it a little bit like that at this point our job is done here all we have to do Let's add our water. And as I predicted, that is exactly what I needed. And of course, um, I almost forgot, I have some wild uh, fennel seeds that I, I actually grow them myself. It's very local here, Mediterranean and they give another extra punch here so i'm going to put some in there but a teaspoon so close the jar and there you go there we go it's time to get them out of the oven as you can see they cooked they shriveled a little flavor is all concentrated and then it's time to jar everything so here's the baked one I put some olive oil in here and we're gonna stay nice and moist with garlic Bay leaf, pepperoncino, and that goes for this one. Anyway. Now we move to the next one. As you can see, I made a larger batch of this one because this is my favorite. So. They've been marinating here with all the garlic, the bay leaf, the uh, oregano, pepperoncino, and uh, wild fennel seeds. So I make my jars, and this is gonna be totally immersed in olive oil. Muffin here agrees. So that's the way to do it. Right, we're gonna need more than one jar, so I'm gonna stop right here. I'll finish this later. I'll top it off with oil. And by the way, the oil does not go to waste because once we are done, you can reuse oil or you can use it in a spaghetti, in aglio olio, pasta in general. On a pizza, of course. I'm going at the level of the olives so they stay submerged. Right, voila. 
And that's, that's it for this one. We have We have the three stars of the day. We have baked, we have in uh, salted water, salamoya, and olio d'oliva marinate. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy the olives. I will certainly. Might as well make a homemade pizza tonight and have a few of those over it. Well, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe from my kitchen to your table as Chef Tony.